What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here, and welcome to After News Delight. And man, oh man, I hope y'all didn't miss this race, man. This was probably one of the best races of the season. Definitely the closest races of the race of the season, as we had a three-way finish at the top for the ages, man. Gina, Luke, and Kemper brought it home, and we know what type of journey she's had. You know, just sometimes she's I call it a Maria Sharapova of track, man. Sometimes she just does not get it done in the big races, but she finally came through on this one. Gina came through big time showing shades of what she's done in past years. And I, it, it just seems like lately she's been on a roll. And uh, Indian Sports Media, shout out to them. Uh, so go subscribe to my boy, man. Uh, he actually shouted me out in his video. Cause he knows I've been talking about Gina, Luke, and Kemper for uh, a little while now, and so especially when I go over like the European sprinters and stuff like that, so uh, that's why he gave me that shout out. And so definitely check out his video, and if I can remember, I'm gonna definitely leave a link to his uh, video in the description box so y'all can go watch. Cause he goes over all of yesterday's action on the track, August the 16th. So at the at the European, so definitely go check his stuff out, man. But uh. Let's uh let's go through the times here, then I'll get my thoughts, man. Uh, so Gina Luke and Kemper won this hundred meter final with a ten point ninety nine. Uh, and this is the thing. This is a huge upset because Mujinga, uh, Mujinga Kambunji was expected. Either her or Daryl Nada was expected to win. One of those two was expected to win this race, and she edged out both of them. Uh, Kambunji also got a 10.99, but here was the separator. It was uh, uh, Luke and Kemper got a, a 0.984, while Kambunji got a 0.989. So uh, Luke and Kemper just edged uh, her out, and that's how close it was, guys. So they actually, when, they, um, when this race was happening, they actually had to wait for the times to get posted. And Gina celebrated so hard, man. I'm going to go over that in a second, but let me go through the rest of these times here. So, Daryl Netta finishing third with 11.00. So, she was right there. Daryl Netta was right there. But very surprisingly, she was in third because usually I wouldn't have been. I didn't see the odds of who was supposed to be favored in this, but I would imagine that Daryl Netta was probably the favorite to win this. Either her or Kambunji. Uh, was probably favorite to win this. Another good time was Yua Sabota. Now she she wasn't at the uh, Silesia Diamond League stop when the last time um, they had a hundred meters that she was supposed to be involved in. She did not race in that, but she pulled up with a good eleven point eighteen. So uh, I don't know if she was hurt or something at that point, but that eleven point eighteen is a, ni a nice way to bounce back, uh, get fourth place. So. That was a nice little performance for her. And then number uh, fifth was uh, Lezakot with uh, 11.21. Uh, Maria Isabel Perez had 11.28. Zanab uh, Dozo had 11.37. And Jean, I think Dina Asher Smith got hurt because uh, we saw her pull up a little bit um, around the 50-meter mark. So uh, she was in last place with 16.03. But I think she, was, uh, she had pulled up. So I want to get an update. On uh, Dina Asher Smith. I think Dina Asher Smith was already hurt uh, not that long ago, too. So, because I remember her having a pull out of another race uh, after World. So, um, but I think I think she yeah she 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 raced at the Commonwealth Games for what I remember. So, uh, we'll see what's going on there. I'll see what type of uh, update on her injury we get. But back to Luke and Kemper, man. Man, she's so up and down, man. And so I, I know, you know, the Germans, they get on her. They say she's an underachiever. We know this woman has the talent, but she just hasn't shown it. But I'm telling you, since since uh, her relay race at the Worlds in that 4x100, she's kept a steady climb to getting back on track. And she looks really good right now. She looks really poised. And I could tell she was due for a gold medal at some point. And she's got it at these European championships, man. So, look, Luke and Kemper could get on the podium at the Diamond League Championship, man. I, I wouldn't put a pass her to get in there, uh, at least coming third. I, I think she can do it, man. Um, 
You just have to keep racing like this, man. That because that's the ten point ninety nine score. It's no game. Like she was running fast against. I mean, to beat Kambunji and Netta at the in the same race, that's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Like I couldn't be more proud of Luke and Kemper right now. You know, Luca Kemper, I've been waiting for her to break out of her shell and just win one of these races, man. And what an upset. What a way to do it. It was so, such a good race. And she was so happy, man. She was celebrating like you wouldn't believe. She couldn't believe that she won. Uh, it was an awesome moment for her. I was so happy for her, man, because she's been going through it, losing race after race, man. I, I think that she needed a break. She needed something where... She wouldn't have to doubt herself or anything like that. So, very good stuff, man. Just a good story last night from these European championships, man. Great upset. I love seeing upsets in track. And that's why they race, man, because you never know who's going to win in track and field, man. I would never bet on track and field because you just never know how this stuff is going to go, man. But go ahead and get this video a like, man. Hit that like button for me. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel, especially if you're new in the zoo. Any comments you got, definitely put them below. And if you want to donate to the channel, hit the super thanks button below. I much appreciate it. But, yeah, man, this was a awesome freaking race, man. Uh, Gina Luca Kemper. I want to see if she can keep this momentum up uh, because she ran a dynamic race here, man. Like, and th this race was just so fast and, like, when I was watching it, because she didn't have the initial lead. She did the chase down thing like Abby Steiner did. Because Kambunji had a big lead. Like, I will say probably right around 60 to 70 meters into the race, Kambunji had a lead. A pretty sizable lead, too. Like, I thought that, I was like, Kambunji about to run this race. And then, because Luka Kemper wasn't even in, like, the top three at that point when uh, Kambunji was up, I think, around a 50-meter mark. And then... I've seen Abby Steiner do this in her race before where she chased someone down in the relay. It was like back in high school. It reminded me of that. Like Luca Kipper really chased down Kambunji and Daryl Netta to get that, to get that. And then she failed too. Like, um, she failed to 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 try to get it. So you could tell, man, like seeing her in tears and stuff like that, that was awesome. It tells you a lot about Luke and Kemper and how bad she wanted this. She wanted this so bad. And you guys got to remember something, too, about this race. It was in Germany, where she's from. As I said, sometimes when you race in your hometown, you get this extra energy, man. So she didn't want to let the home folks down. She was bleeding. It was awesome, man. Y'all got to go back and watch the race, man. Thank you guys for watching. After News Delight.